A tea drinker than wine? Yeah, I guess so. I also, I also just love this interaction. I want to go back really quickly, right here. Uh, Dynamite barbecue with rocket fuel. Ooh, really hits the spot. Truly the finest sherry cask aged malt juice in the cosmos. And then... Dynamite barbecue with rocket fuel. Uh, is that really something that humans enjoy? <laughs> I just had so much fun with these lines. Like... <laughs> hey, this guy doesn't know anything at all. Yeah, I just, I, okay, now I'm putting the phone away because I want to be with you guys. But it's just like, I had so much fun finally being like, um, I, I love, Don Hung is hard. Don Hung is a hard role because he, he's, he's the information deliverer, right? He like, he, he, he gives out lore and objectives, etc. right? He explains what's going on. I rarely get to be... Unless sometimes I'm with March, sometimes I rarely get to be part of the punchline. And so, finally, like, in a way, Don Hung gets to be, like, his cold, like, the, the coldness in his responses and the dryness, it gets to be funny. It, you know? Like, and it's so good that Boot Hill is just, like, bouncing off of him like that. It's just, like, it's great. Isn't there a saying among the Xian Show people that... Rainbow set lets their luck's arrow do all the beaten. Talking. Do all the talking. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. <laughs> Even though the Galaxy Rangers have been out of sight for years. Talking. We've been keeping an eye on Do all the region. talking. Even the dumbest criminals know better than to mess with the Annihilation King. <laughs> much less the Rangers. That specific line... I just remember being in a session with with my director and and the team and we were just having a blast like just because I read Boot Hill's lines and I can only guess like how Boot Hill's gonna come out but I was like all right he's gonna be this cowboy you know western style dude and so I'm just like <laughs> I gotta <laughs> I gotta I gotta contrast his like out he's out there he's outlandish and don hung's like oh brother not again like <laughs> them xianzhou people <laughs> i gotta talk about these i gotta, I gotta talk, talk about, about these xianzhou people, people and their, their sayings. sayings talking you mean talking <laughs> like <laughs> I just love their dynamic so much. Maybe she knows a galaxy. Don't say your yeah. Because this dialogue specifically, I really enjoyed, and I'll explain why. Like how Lon always follows the path of the hunt, or, or how the Express stays true to the Trailblaze despite Akavili's disappearance. But in my opinion, Akavili's fall holds significance for the Nameless. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm hmm So you're saying the Nameless now have to take responsibility for their own choices because their absolutely right leader is gone? Mm-hmm. Exactly. I believe the purpose of the journey isn't just about following a path that's always considered absolutely right. Mm hmm It's more about doing your best to choose the right path for yourself among countless possibilities. Even with limited insight judgment I don't know mm -hmm. what you've been through but I agree that people must take responsibility for their choices because no one else can do it for them mm. that's why the galaxy rangers need to uncover the imposter and figure out her true intentions so I'm gonna pause right here just because like I loved this piece of dialogue because this is such good this is why the writing for this game is so good because like 
a lot of games that have this deep of a lore just kind of dump it out and be like, oh, this is how the world works and so and so. And it's like, you know, like I like I do D&D and I feel like that's a big thing in D&D is like it's it's hard for DMs and like writers in general to like weave in lore and world building without it feeling like the writers are like telling you this. But this is so good because it's Boot Hill and me having an intellectual debate and it shows Boot Hill is so smart. Like, he's so smart because he understands how paths work on, like, a different level that Don Hung didn't, you know? And, like, it's just, like, it's so cool hearing them have this debate of, like, Boot Hill believes that once you're on this path, you, like, what, you following this path means that you, like, this is, this is how you live your life. And Don Hung maybe at one point believed that, but since joining the Express, has learned that that's not how life needs to be. You know, it doesn't need to be like the Stellaron Hunters, where you're just kind of having this whole like you're following a script. It doesn't have to be like you're on the hunt. You're you're following the path of the hunt, and you have to, you know, uh, uh, strike down evil at its core, wherever it may be, whether that's the abundance or like imposters that are impo and, um, that, that are like posing as other people. Or like whatever like it's just such a great point in this story that I hope comes back because it's like it's so good like because the trailblaze is all about like, the trailblaze is the idealistic part of us that we love like, like as, as us as players and like the actors love it's like the trailblaze is about creating your own path you know I will blaze a path of my own. Like, that is just so... That's so the core of, like, this story. You know, like, the whole core of this story... I'm sorry, I'm on, on my soapbox right now. I'm on my soapbox. Like, um... Yeah, like, he's the comic relief, but he's so smart. Like, the core of this story is, like, how does your, how does your past influence you? And, like, what... How do these characters react to their past? You know? Like, Don Hung ran from it. And now Don Hung is trying his best to embrace it and move on from it because he has a life now, right? Blade wants nothing to do with it, and he just wants to cut himself. He wants to he wants to cut himself off completely from life, right? Because of his past. Boot Hill, I don't know yet. Like Robin, I don't know much yet about yet. But like you look at all the trailblazers, and that's exactly it. March is trying to discover her past. Don Hung is trying to to reconcile with his past. Himiko has a past that doesn't she doesn't even fully understand yet because she doesn't know that she's you know died in another universe. Welt is literally has a past that he wants to go back to because he has a family. Like this conversation is bringing all that up. So good. It's just so good. I just had to like point that out. And this is why I loved recording the scene because I was just like, I get to finally have an intellectual debate with like another character about like the meaning of like the path stride, you know? And it makes so much sense. Just in case. I have a backup plan if the memo keeper doesn't show up. This is my final backup plan. <laughs> oh god. Poot Hill. Things a lot easier. Yeah, no, Andrew and I, I would love to, like, hang out on stream with him and just chat about the game, because I love this. I love talking about this game. Like, by the way, this fucking moment, I gotta play it out. But, like, yeah, I love talking about this game because this game's writing is so good, and, like, I'm such a proponent of, like, the fact that, like, I think that even in 2.0, even in 2.0, the, 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 the seeds that they're planting for this game are only, I hope, I hope, I can only hope as an actor in this game and as a consumer of this story that like, um, I can only hope that the seeds being planted will grow into insane ways, you know? Why does his vest top look like if you're a woman if he had an underboob? That is underboob. That is Boot Hill underboob. That is underboob hill. His name is underboob hill. <laughs>